So, I like this painting enough, but I felt like the hands just weren't right. The hands weren't right. The uh, the overall frame of, of the figure wasn't, I don't know, I guess not thick enough? And if anything, if I was going to do this again, I maybe would have hinted that this thing was wearing a veil. I didn't do that, though. Um... I really like the, the double horn thing on top. I'm not sure who I stole that from. Might have been Kill Trizzy. Pretty sure it was Kill Trizzy. I think he did. I think I seen him doing that first. I mean, you see someone doing something dope, you take it. It's just how it goes. Uh, stole that from him. Still a lot of shit from uh, Kim Jacobson Art. That guy's that guy's pretty fucking sick. I had a lot of Francis Bacon in his artwork, but he does his own thing, and uh, you know. It, it just looks cool. Simple, but... Well, not really simple, but... The, the figures... A lot of the figures are... Kind of kind of simple. That's not a bad thing. You know, he has a lot of other cool shit, too. Like, uh... He did a Suspiria one. You know, that, that new pick of all the Suspiria dancers. But then he throws his... Fucking... His thing onto it. It looks dope. He has a... Good handful of... Of, of like, full body figures. And, like, these really... You know, ballet-esque forms and uh yeah Kim Jacobson's a badass man I like his shit David Rancor I think is his name it looks like it's David Arancor but David Rancor I take a lot of his shit uh especially with these portrait pieces um I've been trying to flesh out my portraits have them be a little more dynamic uh but uh, I don't really do that as much. Like, I, I don't study. I don't draw in my free time. I don't try to... I, I never study the fundamentals. I mean, I did it my own way, but... You know, I'm not... Not, not like, dope, like a, like a real art student or anything like that. Uh, and, you know, his, his shit... A lot of similarities with uh, 1920s silent film portraits. Like, look those things up, man. Like, they're pretty much the same thing. And uh, that's what I got from that guy. Is looking at old portraits because a I think they're in the public domain, so you know can't get in too much trouble if you reference them too heavily. And th those old glamour shots, man, they they just have so much of life in their poses. Uh, I, I try to I, I try to emulate that when I can, but sometimes you know we we just go with a straightforward portrait, which this one ends up being. So we have the original painting. Which is like an orange figure. Open mouth. Because of course it has an open mouth with jagged teeth. That's my shit. Probably one of the dopest things Francis Bacon's brought to the world is open teeth in these paintings, man. It, it just looks metal. I'm probably never going to make a piece with, with, with not fucked up teeth. Like, I, I fucking love that shit. Uh, so there was that painting. There was uh, the one I did yesterday that started out orange and it went to red try to do some shit with that but it didn't really work then we got the the next green piece out of that and now we're doing this third green piece uh sorry about that choppy edit right there i don't know what the fuck happened but uh there was a little bit of in between i didn't really miss anything i was just um didn't miss out on anything i was just trying to carve out more of a figure in this this mess of green uh, as far as the green goes, I'm using three colors here. Thalo green's the dark green. Love Thalo green. Uh, end up using a little bit of Thalo blue. Love Thalo blue. Uh, and then there's Gumbacher. I think it's called lime yellow green. Maybe it's uh, it's some good shit. I've been using it now for uh, two years. Uh, monochrome. I've been I've been I went back I went back to going. <laughs> God damn it. I went back to using uh, monochrome palettes for my stuff. I do like... You know, I, I'm, I'm mixing up here and there, but I really... I really like the green stuff. I really like the green stuff. And if you dig it, keep doing it. And yeah, I'm pumping shit out constantly, so... I'm doing, I think, three different palettes right now. Uh, just to keep myself interested. But the green stuff, man... Yeah, it's like... It just comes out looking great. Big fan of this green stuff. So it's really just two colors. 
mostly. I use a little bit of uh, acrylic gesso just to make some highlights. As far as uh, brushes go, most of my brushes are from the dollar store. If there's a craft section there, and they have these long ass um, brushes, there I've bought a brush pack. They have three different brush packs, two of which are garbage. The bristles themselves are too long, and when they're too long, there's they're they're, they're not firm enough to really control. But these, like the one I'm using right here, this big ass wooden one, I got a pack of those, and they're hands down the best shit you can get for about about five bucks, which is pretty great. Not that I'm ever buying expensive brushes ever. I've only done that maybe yeah, not a lot. I'm not, not really too into shelling out for brushes. So this figure I wanted to I wanted to do something more dynamic, something more interesting visually, but that didn't end up happening. And that's fine. Like I it's mostly a, a therapeutic thing. But what it ends up becoming is, is a feminine figure. Which wasn't the, uh, well, none of this stuff's planned, but it's not the way I thought it would go. It's just, uh, you know, you, you try to make this stuff work, and you don't really know what's going to work. So we've pretty much reached the saturation point for color. That lime green's not really going to get any more greener. Like, it's like that's the brightest it's going to be, even though it's white right now. We're going to go over that with lime green. And it's not going to get any brighter. So you have to carve some shit out. What I do here too, is underneath the chin, down to the chest, if I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do, I'll just darken the fuck out of that. And hopefully, the shoulders and the neck will kind of guide me to where I'm trying to get with these pieces. And that, that I'm pretty sure that's what ends up happening. Um, pretty sure that's how it goes. Here, I'm doing the same thing. If, I, if I'm in a bind, I'll darken the fuck out of the eyes and the nose and the mouth too just to get something interesting going try to figure out where we're going to go with this piece uh, right now I think I just noticed where the hair is going to be so what I'm going to do here in a moment is I'm going to take some green I'm going to lighten that up with water and we're going to carve out around the head because I can see it in my head I'm thinking we outline the hair where the hair is going to be with white uh, it could have worked I'm pretty sure that could have worked I was also thinking about doing like a more traditional halo like uh, something out of a renaissance painting uh, one of those more you know uh, flat I guess you'd say halos but I didn't really feel like trying to do anything with too much precision so uh, where's it coming not yet we're, we're still greening up this shit um, but yeah, right now this face is too, it's too thin. The head's too thin. As it stands, right now, not a good composition. And, uh, yeah, you, you never really, you know when these things are good. And right now this thing isn't good. That neck right there, that's too thick on both sides. Uh, it could work if it was more of a male figure. But this isn't a male figure yet. If it was a male figure, I think that, that kind of stockier build would work, but right now it just doesn't, it, 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 it's not what it's going to be, which is fun. I don't know if you could hear that, but there's semis going through here all the fucking time. Sturgis was a bitch out here too. It's just motorcycles all fucking day. Fuck that shit, dude. Fuck that shit. Alright, there's some green. We're, we're figuring out. I got saying that, that that build's too thick. So we're going to elongate the neck a little bit. Kind of thin out the shoulders. I'm still trying to get a way to incorporate the arms, but that doesn't happen. And then here's the hair. And once the hair came, uh, that was kind of like the big aha moment. It's like, oh, now we know what we're going to be doing with this. And here's me trying to balance it out without having to go too dark with the hair. So we'll, uh, you know, it's a push and a pull.
This is the Thalo green, and then we're going to do a, a layer of the Thalo blue, which I'm a big fan of uh, both. The Thalo green drives really dark, really dark. So does the uh, Thalo blue. And when I do monochrome pieces with the Thalo blue, I don't need much... I don't need anything other than the Thalo blue and some acrylic gesso. Like, the Thalo blue is just endlessly versatile. Uh, and that's this piece, man. Came out looking dope. Came out looking fine. Uh, that's a Sakura jelly pen. Gel pen. Jelly pen. Gel pen. Sakura gel pen. I get those out at uh, Hobby Lobby. So that's this piece. You don't see it, but I end up doing... Um, I do highlights in the hair. But other than that, yeah, that's this piece. Came out looking pretty dope. Uh, you know, I paint... I paint something every day, so... There's a good chance... There's a real good chance uh, I'll be doing... One of these time lapses every fucking day. But at the same time, I'm also lazy. So, maybe not. We'll see. Um, until next time. Peace.